Hello everybody, welcome to Code Languages. In this video, we're gonna be working on a JavaScript quiz about arrays and some methods also. Um, this video is mainly for those of you that are at beginner level in JavaScript. Um, I think it's always helpful to not only rely on what you are taught in school or in a course, but anywhere else you can grab knowledge, do it, okay? If you can watch some YouTube videos or read about stuff you're learning, um, you know, online, anywhere, just, you know, grab knowledge from anywhere you can get it, all right? It's all part of the learning process. Okay, so uh, join me. We're going to take this quiz together. We're going to be answering 10 questions and uh, I will explain things as we go. All right. So the first question says, what will happen after running the following code? All right. So um, we can see here that the very first uh, part of this is showing a variable called countries and it has been assigned or different strings right you can see that right here Japan Denmark Mexico Morocco and then we have the second thing here is a method called shift and what this does is that it removes the first string from this array okay so as soon as we call this immediately removes Japan from the list okay so if we console log countries it only going to give us Denmark Mexico and Morocco right but we're not done yet okay the next thing here is that we reassigned um, England Mozambique um, Cambodia Peru to the variable now we're not supposed to do that okay if we do that it's gonna give us some kind of a error message uh, the reason is that this is a constant you cannot completely reassign the entire you know um, you can completely as reassign countries the variable countries with a different set of um, array right here so that's not a lot if you do that it will give us a wrong message or, or some kind of a error message okay so given that information we could see that the first one shift took japan out of the list so we're looking at our possible answers here we can see that it's supposed to print out denmark mexico and morocco so right here we can see denmark mexico and morocco and then the second one since we try to assign this variable with a, a new set of string it's supposed to give us an error message so this will be the right answer right here okay so we're gonna click that and yes we are right okay so let's go to the next one here uh, this one says which of the methods below does not change the array it is called on okay so looking at this um, the first one I think we already talked about, right? How shift removes the first um, string of the array, okay? Uh, push also, I think push, what push does is, I think it adds, let me see if I could find out what push, let me go to the, uh, right here, push. So push, I'm looking at W3 schools, guys. Whenever you're learning how to code, anywhere you can grab information from is okay, all right? So it says push method adds new items to the end of an array. So in doing so, it sort of mutates uh, the array, okay? Don't be afraid to look up things. I know, uh, you know, people that are amazing coders, experienced coders, and they still look things up online so it is part of it guys don't you see when you see me do that don't worry it's all part of the coding process okay so don't be afraid to go to w3 schools and uh, YouTube and other places to look at stuff because you just can't memorize all these methods I mean 
come on man you know you see what i mean right so these these things are like dictionaries for you to use it's meant for you to use all right so we see that push um push adds new items to the end of the array so it's going to mutate the array or you know kind of like change the array completely right uh pop what pop does is it removes i think pop removes the last the last string or last let me see i think it removes the last string or something of the array yeah so pop method removes the last element of an array great okay so the only one that seemed to not uh, change the array completely is slice so slice will just pick a, a specific part of the array for you to print out but it's not necessarily changing it the original array stays the same right so the answer here will be slice okay by the way let's look up slice in here let me see slice okay so slice says uh the slice method returns selected elements in an array as a new array so you see that it's just it's just selecting an array to be printed out or to be used but it's not changing the array right okay so let's move on to the next question um what will be logged to the console when we run the code below so over here we can see that a new variable called my array has been declared and it has an array uh three items in here right or uh three strings if you want to call it that way um the first one here we see that a method has been applied here and the method says uh, my array dot push it has this um string in here and it's being pushed into this array i think push adds this a string to the end of this array i think so let's confirm that let's confirm that was what does push do uh push push method as a new item to the end of the array that's right so it adds uh it adds this string to the end of it so we're gonna have item zero item one item two and item three okay so that's what has happened over here now after that another method is applied and this is the pop the pop removes the very last item out of the array so it brings it right back to the original array right here so the answer if we should uh log this to the console we're gonna get item zero item one and item two the ones above is not the right answer so we're gonna go with this one right here and that's correct all right let's go to the next question it says what will be printed to the console so over here we see again a uh, a variable named fruit has been assigned um, a string, um, an array string here of apple, oranges, pears, and mangoes. Uh, the first thing that's happening here uh, is that uh, we are looking, we are trying to index, um, we are trying to look for the, uh, the string that is in the third position of the array okay so since the uh indexing starts with zero apple will be zero oranges will be one and pears will be two all right so this one will is gonna hunt for this word which is the third one inside of the array okay again when we are indexing indexing starts with zero okay so this will be the first one zero the second one one and then the third one will be the two all right so bear that in mind so once we've indexed that we want to replace that with banana that's what's happening here we're going to be replacing it with a string bananas so pairs will be replaced with bananas and then if we console log this variable to the console we're going to have apple oranges bananas remember pears has been replaced and then we're gonna have mangoes right so this is gonna be orange 
oh sorry apple oranges bananas mangoes this should be the right one there we go correct all right let's go to the next one here it says uh how can you find how can you find how many elements are within an array uh this one here uh this is the right answer so this is the uh, method that is used to find um, the number of elements um, with uh, how many says how can you find how many elements are within an yeah so this will this is the method that is used right um, so when we click right there that should be the right answer um, let's go over here says what is the value of uh, top priority um, so over here we have um, another variable that has been declared and it has a string go to the bank pick up dry cleaning and go grocery shopping all right um, and then over here we have a new variable that is top priority and it, it's uh, we we have it we have we have it equated to uh, errands that index of pickup dry cleaning so this method right here is trying to look for the position what's the position of pickup dry cleaning what is its position inside of this array okay again remember when i told you when you're counting or indexing you start with zero so if we start zero then this one is gonna be one so one represents the position the index position for this pickup dry cleaning right so the answer here will be one and that's the correct answer all right um what will be logged to the console when we run the code below so over here again another variable called city has been declared and uh we have an array um of uh three cities chicago san francisco and new york all right and here we are console login we're indexing the third actually not the third if we count from zero this Chicago will be zero, which will be the first one. San Francisco will be one, which will be the second one. New York will be two, which will be the third one. And then the, the number three falls outside of the array. So this should give us undefined because it's falling outside of the array, right? So when we click that, that's the correct answer. All right. So here, the next question is saying, what is the purpose of an array? Uh, it says to organize data in key value paths, uh, to store data only for the same, to store data only of the same type. I uh, don't know about that, I don't think so. To store data in an organized fashion. Yeah, that sounds pretty close. To organize data as lettered position, no. Nope. So this one is more likely it right here uh, to store data in an organized fashion. All right. So let's go with that. And that's correct. All right. Uh, we're almost done. We have two more. Um, this one says, what is the correct syntax for an array? Um, usually an array has that. Um, angle bracket um, this one don't have that it has this angle bracket and then if there are strings in the array um, you should see that you know single quote that's a single quote single quote <laughs> that's a single quote side yeah so that one um, uh, so you can see that that's a string now remember that an array don't always have to be a string right an array can also have a number in there okay so um this one right here is what um the syntax for an array will look like 
okay this is the one that's all these other ones are not right this one has a curly bracket this one has curly bracket um, this one has a semicolon in here something that's not right okay so this one with a single quotation um, is the right one so let's go with that and that's correct okay uh, the last question here says how could you access the second item lion in the following code block all right so we can see again using the indexing if we index lion counting from zero we could see that the slot here will be zero and lion will be one okay so we're gonna have to use this one here to index lion all right and that's it all right let's go here and we got a hundred all right guys i hope you found this quiz useful you can stop the video rewind well you don't rewind just go to the beginning or click whichever uh spot of the video you want to and just revise and you know use this quizzes to improve your skills all right and don't be afraid to look things up um, online uh, one of the sites i use a lot is w3 schools they have a ton and a ton of stuff you can use uh you know reference uh things you can learn to help improve your skills you don't have to memorize every one of these methods and 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 stuff over here it's this the google and all these websites are like dictionaries all right it's like you know you don't have to memorize uh a typical dictionary has over a hundred thousand words i don't know if that's the right yeah probably over a hundred thousand words imagine if you have to memorize all of that in order to speak english that that's not you know you can learn english without having to memorize uh, uh you know a hundred thousand words right so that's the same thing with coding uh, don't beat yourself up because you can't memorize every single thing uh the most important thing is that you understand you can read the code and understand exactly what the code is doing all right that's more important than uh, you know memorizing the code because if you memorize you have a habit of memorizing and you don't really understand the code you will mess up because the after a while what you've memorized will start you know disappearing from your brain but if you do it the other way around understand what the code is doing understand how to read the code uh, the memorizing will come naturally okay as you solve problems as you do exercises and watch videos like this and stuff like that memorizing will come naturally to you all right so thank you guys for watching this video uh if you haven't subscribed subscribe to this channel i'll be doing more videos like this in the future and then you will get notification whenever i upload the video uh thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye